it's day 12 of the ultimate better butt challenge so we have on the lineup today 50 single leg bulgarian split squats and then 60 total uh lateral walk 60 per leg so grab your tubing whether it's the loop band or i'm going to use the handles today and crisscross at the ankles find your bench and let's rock and roll i'm going to break it up into two sets today so i'm going to start with my bulgarian split squats first so remember we did your split squats with the first challenge, but as you're coming down and up, the foot that is propped up on the bench, it's not always about that knee touching the ground, it's more about that front hip that you're working and sliding back and hinging. Um, and that back knee is not about whether um, it goes straight down or not, it goes down, but it also goes back. And you want one straight line, to see from the top of my head down to my knee. So I'm not more upright, that's gonna be a quad loaded uh, split squat. I want to load more the hip, so you have to lean forward into it as the hip drives back and down. 25, you're ready. I'm gonna do this body weight, focusing just really pulling from that hamstring and squeezing the glute at the bottom and the top. You're ready? All right, let's do this. Go up and down, there's one, two, three, four, five, Six, create benchmark seven. Wherever you were on that first rep or two, I want you to finish with that same end point. There's 10. I love hamstring work, 12, because it can also add nice shape to the legs. You can always sculpt, and by your hamstring definition, you can tie in your glute. This creates nice good curves. 18, here's 19. Oh my goodness, 20, one. So as we keep going on with this challenge, I am going to less and less use weight because it, uh, it is all about just good quality ranges, good squeezes. Um, there might be times where as the numbers get up, I'll break it more and more into smaller numbers. But for the most part, I might keep it with smaller sets, but higher reps. And just keep it all body weight. I'm gonna find my ankle. There we go. Ooh. All right, here we go. 25. Here's one, two, ooh, three, four, and push up five. So as I'm coming up and down, I'm still also pushing a little bit with my forefoot, not always through my heel all the time. I'm still using my arches. There's eight but I feel the whole meaty part is nine. Remember, as you're coming down, just like I cued with your lunges, let that hip at the bottom kind of AB duct a little bit, open that hip, and then use that inner thigh as you're coming up. 13, all right, let's speed it up just a hair, 14, 15, touch up, 16. Touch up, 17, two, 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 mm, there's 20, five more, one, and walk, squeeze, two, Hi three, four, last one, and 25, all right. Let's grab that tubing, crisscross. Um, doesn't matter on how many you do, as long as you do. See, we're doing 30 total, 30 total per side. So, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three four, five, remember push with that outer hip, 
seven, eight, squeeze, non-traveling. There's 10, second round, one, doing 30, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Always keep those glutes loaded. There's 20, one, two, three, four, soft bend in knees, five, six, push that leg out, seven, eight, nine, 20, left 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. As you get tired, remember, not allowing yourself to seesaw, teeter-totter sway. Even if you start taking smaller steps, push into that band. Here's six, seven, eight, nine, and 30. Woo. Ah, all right, you ready? Second set, 25. Start with my right leg in front. All right. Find your alignment. Check your form. Hinge. All right. Let's do this. Here we go. Hinge, touch. Whoop, one. Two, three, four. Knee goes back and down. Five, up six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lengthen up. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One fatigue is setting in. Come on, ah, two. Three, uh, four, and uh, five. Yeah, yeah. All right, other leg. And Oh, that just feels good, doesn't it? All right, 25. Let's do this. Ooh, up one. So remember as you're coming up, you're still squeezing that butt, even at the bottom. You should feel hamstring stretched and lengthened, but you should still feel glute contracting at the bottom and then it tightens as you come up. There's five. So pretend like your butt is like a, a pump valve. Pump, 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 pump. Blow that butt up. Seven. Up eight. Nine. Ten. There is nothing better than a nice good old booty pump. When you get all the blood flow, to that muscle, if only our butt could stay that way forever, right? 15, 10 more, two, 16, 17, there's 18, 19, 20, one, oh, two, Oh, three. Come on, yes, you can. Up four. And last one. Whoa, ba, 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 ba. 25. Yowie. Huh. Yesterday, I impromptu took a picture of myself after we did lateral tubing walks. Um, 
after I filmed days 10 and 11, I took some selfie pics to see if I could create your ultimate better butt flyers. The things I'm using as my thumbnail pics for YouTube and uh, not really intending to use it how I ended up using it, although it turned out pretty well. But tell you what, that was at the end of the day. That was a booty pump after just doing days 10 and 11 together. So really just gotta work that muscle. It's not about how much weight you're always pushing on it. Yes, weight is important. Ah, six, seven, eight, nine, there's 20, one more lap. But with this challenge, it's about volume and repetition. It's not about strength, but that will come with the number of reps that you're doing with it. But you can get benefit, you get hypertrophy, that's muscle growth, both ways. And Brett has clearly proven that with his clients. Oh, six, seven, eight, nine, and 30. Holy moly. Oh, there you go. I'm gonna have a seat for a quick sec. Number four, ha. Huh. And then I have probably 40 minutes and then I'm gonna teach bar. So usually when I film these, it's usually in the afternoon, either the before or as soon as the, my children get off the bus, uh, change sides. So definitely keep me posted if you have any questions when it comes to any of these exercises. Just remember each week, the exercises are stacked the same. They cycle every five days, five, six days, and uh, just the reps keep continuing. So I'm not gonna change too much as far as angles and techniques, although that is an option. Uh, ooh, uh, but let's do this. Let's see what kind of gains we can make for this month. And I will see you tomorrow, day what, day 13. See you later, guys.